You ever sitting around on the weekend and you say, boy, I wish I could play Doom 2016 in Eternal and other games. Well, I'm going to show you right now. In under three minutes, we'll just lay it out. You don't need me to tell you how much of a success Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal were. There are hundreds of videos, articles, and personal anecdotes proving that. Now, let's consider the following possibilities. Either you can't afford a new computer or console to play the new Doom games, or you just can't afford a new Doom games in general. What do you do? Well, aside from trying the morally dubious paths for a way to get past the second possibility, there's a few other options. That's what this video is going to be about, playing Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal and other games. So let's start off with something your toaster can run. Doom. Yeah, the 1993 one. Unless you lived under a rock for three decades, you'll probably have a computer that can run the original Doom. This mod right here will take your classic Doom experience and slap a bunch of mechanics from Doom 2016 right on top of it. This is Doom for Vanilla. Doom for Vanilla, or Doom 2016 the way 1993 did it, is a gameplay mod for the original Doom that changes nearly every gameplay and graphical asset to resemble the 2016 game. The weapons, enemies, and even music are all changed. There are a few other mods that I'll be covering later in the video that do the exact same thing, but what is this one's appeal you might be asking? What sets it apart from the rest? Simple. It runs with just about any source port. This is because you can also run it under MS-DOS with the original Doom if you wanted. The mod has options for alternate weapons too. It's still in development as of this video's recording, and it seems to be increasing its compatibility with other level packs as well. Its threat in Doom World will probably answer any other questions you might have about it. There's a link to that in the description, so check it out. But let's continue our trek of playing Doom and Doom with some mods that require GZ Doom. There are a lot of mods with this premise, so I know for a fact I'll miss some. Finding all the Doom 2016 based GZ Doom mods will probably make a good premise for its own video, but I'll probably do that another time though. The mod being played right now is Embers of Armageddon, which takes the Doom Slayer and a lot of his mechanics from 2016 and puts them right into basic Doom. You could probably put a few other GZ Doom mods and level packs on top of this mod too and get a good experience out of it. Another mod that is a bit more of a heavier conversion is Zion. The sprites for the weapons seem to come straight out of Doom 2016, and the enemies are modded to act more like their 2016 counterparts as well. Death Foretold is a similar mod that totally converts the gameplay and enemies. It's got a bit of that arcade feel to it, and is probably the most challenging of the lot, especially on the harder difficulties. Death Foretold and Zion have a number of similarities and you can't really go wrong with either. Personally, I prefer D4D due to its challenge and consistency in gameplay and presentation compared to Zion. If you want a total gameplay conversion, you can't go too wrong with either of them. If you don't want any modded enemies though, I recommend you stick with Embers of Armageddon. One more mod on GZ Doom I wanted to show real quick is Meta Doom. This one's different because it not only combines Doom 1993 with Doom 2016, but all the other Doom games too. Yes, that includes Doom 3 and even the RPGs as well. That definitely gives this mod its own unique identity for the rest I've been discussing in this video so far. Despite elements from all these games being smushed together into one mod, it's actually quite a consistent experience. Check it out if you're looking for something different. Alright, that's all the GZ Doom mods I wanted to cover in this video. I know I'm missing a few like Doom for Doom, but perhaps that one will be covered in another video. For now, we're exiting the second and a half dimension and going straight into full 3D. Let's go. They are rage, brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. With the tear until it is done. This is Slayer's Testaments, a mod for Quake primarily by the guy responsible for Quake 1.5. Still in beta, it's got a lot of potential and a lot of fun gameplay. When you combine the gameplay of Doom 2016 with the movement and speed of Quake, you're bound for some interesting times. There are a lot of things to play in this mod already. You can play the original Quake levels with Doom enemies and weapons, go through a series of classic Doom styled levels called Eternal Path of Destruction. Wait, that name sounds familiar. Finally, you can play through the work in progress campaign that's being made specifically for this mod, which is essentially a demake of the 2016 levels. If you're looking to play Doom 2016 the way 1996 did it, this is a great mod. If you want it to run right though, you'll probably need the Quake Spasm Spike Source port that comes packaged with certain versions of it. 
Now while Slayer's Testaments is an amazing mod, this last mod I'll show you is probably the most intensely ambitious mod in the video. You've seen Doom and Doom, Doom and Quake, but how about Doom and Serious Sam? Yes, the modding community for Serious Sam Fusion has a lot of wild mods with assets from other games, but this one probably takes the cake. This is the demo for Serious Doom. So those with a keen eye might have noticed that the mods and conversions in this video have been leaning much more towards the gameplay of Doom 2016 rather than Eternal. This mod, however, has plenty of gameplay mechanics straight out of Eternal. Some highlights that help this mod stand out even more than it already does are the shoulder equipment launcher pickups, the super shotgun with the meat hook, and of course the enemies. Some enemies like the M Cena function similar to both 2016 and Eternal at the same time. You even get to fight enemies like the Prowler, who teleport around and throw those annoying purple balls everywhere. Now while this mod takes mechanics from Doom 2016, Eternal, and to a lesser extent Serious Sam, this doesn't play exactly like any one of them in particular. It comes closer to Eternal, but it has its own quirks. The gameplay feature from Eternal and even 2016, whose absence you might immediately notice is the lack of glory kills. No worries though, because you'll get help from enemies most of the time anyway, and we'll have to pause the gameplay to watch an animation play. None of that here, it's just seemingly endless fighting with all these hordes of demons. It's great. Of course, you're probably going to need a stronger computer to run this one. Serious Sam HD was rather well optimized back in the day, but I don't know if the same can be said for Fusion, especially with a mod like this. However, if your computer could run Eternal, it could run this, no problem. Well, maybe a few problems. You'll probably come across more than a few crashes, but there's not much a developer of the mod can do about that. You can either save often, or wait until Fusion gets another update in a gazillion years whenever Crow Team finishes Serious Sam 4, if ever. Alright, is playing Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal and the other games worth it? I probably answered this in the thumbnail, but yes, yes it is. Let's make something clear though, your best bet for playing the new Doom games is actually playing them. If you can, I recommend you do so before you go into these mods, so you can have some perspective regarding them. Besides, none of these mods allow you to play as the Doomicorn yet. Well, that's all I have for you guys for now. While there are certainly more games with Doom-themed mods, those can probably be covered in another video. I also recommend you check out the other videos in the description which go into deeper detail about some mods I discussed here. If you liked the video, thumb it up, and if you want, you can support me with my coffee link in the description. While you're at it, you can check out my Discord too if you want. Thanks for watching, and until next time, toodaloo.